now from WMAR 2 News, Maryland's most accurate forecast. Well, we continue to see some rain showers out there, and you'll notice that while it's pretty light over for us, we do have a little bit of a lull going on, and that's actually going to follow us into the overnight hours and give us a little bit of a break from the rain, but it doesn't last for long and I'll show you why over in future cast in just a moment. Looking at our temperatures here, we are still pretty mild out there, bumped up to 57 over in Westminster, still seeing 55 around in the Inner Harbor, Columbia, and given that the temperatures are around those mid to low 50s, we actually are pretty moist out there as well. Dew points hanging around that same kind of I want to say level and that's why we see some patchy fog. So this is expected to continue for a bit, but as we start to warm back up going into the rest of tonight, you will expect to see the fog dissipate basically just kind of make itself disappear and then we'll see that rain starts to take its place. Winds coming out of the south at about six miles per hour and you'll notice here with future cast that we are expecting to see some rain showers pick back up about 3 a.m. and that's when the cold front starts to make its way closer towards us, kind of forcing that air up and creating more activity for us. 4 a.m. Again, some lighter showers, but by the time we get towards about 7 a.m. when we're waking up, getting out there, ready to go to work, getting the school kids ready, that's when we see some of the heaviest bands and even going towards around 9 o'clock. And then finally, by the time we get towards the afternoon hour, start to see that sunshine, bit more breezier air that does move on in and creates cooler temperatures for us as well. So you'll see that rain chances really drop off by the time we get towards about two o'clock. No longer seeing much of that. So get the kids ready with an umbrella and definitely have them in layers because or at least packing a sweater because it does get cooler after this 58 there. So you will expect to see that winds also stay pretty blustery out there as well throughout the entire day. So by the time we're out there walking the dog, when you see the temperatures hanging around the 60s in the mornings and then 40s by the time we get towards the evening hours, that's where the winds start to play a factor for us and it actually makes it feel colder. So about 7, 8, 7 p.m. we are going to be 43 degrees, but it'll be, feel like 35, jump to 9 o'clock, 40, feel like 31. So definitely dress as if we're back in winter and that's going to be following us into parts of Saturday as we are expecting to see sunshine and temperatures really just hanging around those mid to upper 40s. But the good thing is we do start to warm back up here in our seven day forecast. You'll notice by the time we get to Sunday, we are expecting to see 55 degrees and a little bit of cloud cover. So Monday for President's Day, we are expecting to get up to 59 degrees. Again, some cloud cover as well, but then some rain chances start to take place for us around Tuesday and even going into Wednesday with Thursday being our warmest day again at 60 degrees.